My name is Yi Xiang Xu. It's hard to pronounce Xu, Xu, so that's why I'll ask people call me Sue. And I'm a social professor of food processing engineering at Virginia State University. My research actually is for processing food processing engineering, mainly focus on engineering for food nutrition, safety, and quality. So for currently, of research focus on two parts. One is we try to make biodegradable nanocomposite films for shelf life extension of food products. Second, we try to use non-thermal technologies to reduce salt in our products. We collaborate with the industry and by passing our knowledge, our finding to them and hopefully to benefit. And so we want to solve the industry's problem. And so hopefully like we are working on the applied research. So our goal is, so based on our fund, uh, findings, we can solve the issue for industry faced. And for example, we, in the past few years, we work closely for different size companies. And Sabra is a, a Hamas company, is a nationwide the largest Hamas company. So what we try to solve the issue to let them to understand what's happened during the chickpea cooking process, the scientific, the explanation, what really happened for the chickpea. Also for this opportunity is for feather, and so we try to address to use a green and a solution for their coding. And Pfizer is the largest pharmaceutical in the nation or even the world. So we also help our local small food processor. For example, it's like um, the uh, Sally Belt Kitchen. This uh, like um, the company located in the Richmond is about 100 years history. They make uh, the potato salad. We use uh, non-thermal technologies, uh, try to extend their shelf life uh, so they can expand their product, not only Richmond area, can be for uh, beyond the states, even for whole nation. That's our purpose, to help our industry, to, give, to benefit uh, the uh, products even bolster the economy. That's our permission. First, uh, students come our lab. What uh, we want to prepare students uh, is to call critical thinking. And we want to prepare them when they go out to the school, they are ready for the job market. So that's why what we first, we prepare them is critical thinking, leadership skill, and the hand-on training. For when I always tell the students call project-based the uh, training. First, we sign the students a project. What we want them to do is when you have this project, and how you're going to start the project, and how to implement the project, how to analyze data, and how you're going to report. During this process, you work with your peers. That's a collaboration. And so you have to think how to solve the issue. That's critical thinking. Then so you have to implement experiment. That's hand-on training. So end of the day, you know when in the future what you're going to do so you can be ready for any project has been signed. So since I've been here for the last seven years, we have different students. I have graduate students, master students come to our lab. We have data intern students. We have undergraduate students. And so when students finish the training here, so the next step, what they do is either they go to advance their career, which means they go to graduate school. Of seven graduate students graduate for our lab, right now three of them in the PhD program. And also some students and got the training, 
and uh, so they are ready to go to industry. Like uh, one student uh, currently we talk, uh, so it's uh, the training she got, uh, and uh, so industry like it. That's why they offer her for summer internship. It's uh, probably for potential employment opportunities. So that's a good question because uh, Salt right now in American diet is very high and everyone know what's the issue caused by salt. That's why like right now in the in the food the cereal products like bread all the cereal products is ranked number one has a salt and the meat product rank number two. So we generally we want to remove the reduce the salt for all kind of products. But for current research, we focus on the meat. So we use the meat products as a model to see how we can reduce the salt, but not compromise their flavor and quality. So I want to, I always tell the students, uh, so first, uh, when you're in the young, when you're in the just come to school, just don't limit yourself, open your eye. So come here to get a try it, to see because uh, you don't say you don't like it unless you've been exposed it. After you expose it, then so you decide what you can do. A lot of potential you probably never know. So also the training you get here really going to benefit for you for the future. So what would the training we get is help you to build your resume. You make you ready go to the real world. Original, I'm from China. And so I got my master and a bachelor degree in China. Then so after I finished my master, I taught in China University for five years. Then I started, okay, I want to pursue my high level degree. That's why I come to United States to study my PhD. I did my PhD in University of Nebraska, Lincoln. That's it's work on like a corn and a soybean for value added products for soybean and a corn. Then so after I finished my PhD, I got my I got I did like a uh, I, I worked there for five years. When they have opportunity open at VSU, then so I applied. Then so I got this opportunity. I really enjoy here to work here so I can have opportunity to interact with the students. Really I, I enjoy work with them, talk to them. I like, you know, I, I'm very, the most happy thing for me, I saw how they going. And it was first time they come to my lab. And after several years, when they leave, they really fully prepared. That's the most interesting thing and the also best reward for me. So how they're going for their personal, for their career.